Hello there and welcome. This is the tutorial on how to register as a bidder for an online auction with Arling Auctioneers. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to our website www.arlingauctioneers.com and that will bring you directly to our home page. Here you can see everything that we have. The top ribbon up here at the top. I'd like you to scroll over to online auctions and click that. That will bring you to our online auctions home page. And here you can see everything that we have on the home page. Active sales located at the top. You can see we've got a few going on here. And then completed sales down on the bottom. So you scroll back up. You can also see that we have some other information here. How-to guides. Uh, kind of step-by-steps step as far as read-throughs. And a make payment now button. That's where you'd want to go to pay an invoice after you've purchased an item, but that will be covered in a later tutorial. So focusing on registration today, you can see in the upper right hand corner there's login if you're already a registered user, or sign up if you're brand new. So we'll focus on signing up today. So we click sign up, and you scroll down, and it brings you to the registration part where you input all of your general information. You can see everything that we have here. First thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and input your first and last name. We'll just be John Doe, number two. Email, whatever email you guys select, please make sure that it is an email that you check frequently, as this is going to be our primary means of communication with you. If there's any information that needs pushed, either before or during an auction or after, if we're trying to send you an invoice, or pickup or shipping information, it's going to be sent to this email. So make sure it's something that you check frequently. And if you're in the middle of an auction and you're looking for information that should have been sent your way, also remember to check your spam or junk folders. So we'll go ahead and input an email here. And I'll just create a fake one. Input a, and create a password. Make sure it's something that you remember. Company, if you're a company or bidding on behalf of a business, please go ahead and input these fields. If you are not and you're just an individual user, then you can leave them blank. It's not going to hold you up. It's not a required field. Go ahead and select a country. I'm in the United States. Address, let's just go. Buckeye Street to Osgood, Ohio. And put our phone numbers here. It's okay if the phone and your mobile is the same, that's no problem. And fax is not going to be required. Um, if you are going to be bidding in the future on online real estate, then it may behoove you to go ahead and input that at this time, but not necessary. So you come down here and you see the terms and conditions box. You can go ahead and re read through all of these. Um, but what this is, this is not any terms and conditions agreement for any individual auction. This is your agreement to the terms and conditions as to how you will be interacting and using with the bidding platform. So it's the actual software that uh, terms and conditions that you're agreeing to there. So you can go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. The checkbox underneath it, I do not want to receive email auto bid notifications. What that is notifying you of is if you are bidding in an auction and you're utilizing the auto bid or maximum bid features. Uh, every time that the system will automatically bid on your behalf, you will receive a notification that you have it has bid for you. If you do not want to receive those notifications, you can check that box. I do not recommend that. I think it's important that as you're bidding through an auction, even if the system is bidding for you, you keep awareness of where your bids are at and how much money you may be spending at any time. So I like to leave that unchecked. Then you can go ahead and click Next. This may bring you to the bottom, so you may need to scroll up. And this brings you to the credit card verification page. 
So you can go ahead and input credit card information here, all of your general credit card information. And then it will come down and ask you that if you agree to be charged a $1 confirmation uh, charge to your credit card. And what that is, is that's establishing validity on our end that you are in fact a real person and not any sort of a computer trying to create a false account. So it's a fraud prevention mechanism and that's what we try to, uh, to, to use there. So you would go ahead and click agree. This is, like I said, a $1 charge. Um, it, is, it will not be taken off later, so it will keep that $1 charge on your credit card. And then you can click submit. And that would complete your registration process. And one last item to clarify is this credit card information does not put your credit card on file with Arling Auctioneers or any bidding software company. This is a one-time transaction as a fraud prevention. We do not keep anybody's credit card on file. If you purchase an item at invoice payment, you will be allowed to use whatever credit card you can uh, would like to use at that time. So that is it for the registration tutorial, and I hope it was informational.